return to the uh, bluegrass banjo. And our next contestant in the bluegrass banjo category will be contestant number four. This is Mike Allen. Mike Allen, number four, and he's doing Ruben's Train, number four. Number 115, David Vandeventer. Number 115. It was wonderful. I enjoyed that as much as anything I've heard. Yeah, um, I believe that uh, fiddling has a, a New England or a possibly a, a Canadian sound to it. It has a, a different sound than what we're no normally hearing around this, this area here. Uh, very good fiddler, though.
Dick Terrier, and we've enjoyed Dick's music. Uh, I've taken his music home to my little one because he does he does have a great collection of tunes that he does um, geared towards children. They're not all children's songs, but they, he gears them towards the children a lot, and it's a good way to teach the little ones some of the traditional music, so it's always a, uh, interesting to hear Dick. And you were talking about his banjo? Yeah, uh, for all of those uh, of you out there that uh, know about banjos, he was playing a bacon and day, which is normally known as a, uh, a tenor or a plectrum style banjo playing Dixie Van Jazz ragtime, but uh, this was a uh, looks like an original five string. I'm amazed at the tone he got out of that banjo because normally that's a very brash sounding banjo, but he had a very mellow sound out of it. Um, Bob Flesher is joining me today at Veterans Memorial Park, and of course Bob builds banjos, and um, he's an expert in minstrel banjo style and uh, has minstrel banjos that he plays. Um, the music on. He's very authentic with everything from the covers of his cassettes to um, the way he enunciates the words in the songs. Um, he's researched it at length and so you can appreciate um, the authenticity in his minstrel delivery and he is an excellent clawhammer banjo player in fact uh, is the reigning champ at galax fiddlers convention he's won first place in clawhammer banjo seven times and uh, so all the banjo comments uh, are coming from an expert is what i'm getting at and so we appreciate um your being able to share uh, a little bit more of the technical side uh, to the music with us throughout the day. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'm Sherry Boyd with you from WPAQ, and uh, we'll break away and hear from some of our sponsors, and uh, we'll come back to Veterans Memorial Park in Mount Airy, West Lebanon Street. If you're hunting for us, come on and join us. Next in Old Time Fiddle will be contestant number 81. This is Bob White, number 81, Old Time Fiddle. Flying in in waltz.
have the fiddle and banjo competition going on. Want to remind you of some things coming up. Um, of course, we have the Sherry's Music Cinema Showcase. I'll tell you a little bit about a uh, little bit about and Marsha Bowman, Richard Bowman's daughter, is about to compete. Let's lis uh, listen to Marsha, and I'll tell you more about the showcase coming up. It'll be next Saturday night at the Cinema Theater downtown in Mount Erie. We'll play soon and again. Next judges in the old time fiddle contest at 19. This is Richard Bowman, old time fiddle. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna play a little bit of the Golden Slippers. Contestant number 15, Mr. Bill Wisdom, number 15, old time banjo. Returning to the old-time banjo, 
Next in that category will be contestant number 13. This is number 13, Charles Greer, number 13. Number 23, John. Thanks, Clyde. Raph, you want to check the mic there? Check one. Oh, yeah. Got old Jimmy Rogers' song for you. Got a bale of flour, Lord, I got a bucket of lard. Got a bale of flour, Lord, I got a bucket of lard. Chickens in my backyard. Oh, lady, 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 lady. I'd corn in my crew, I'd go in my patch. I'd corn in my crew, I'd go in my patch. Got an old hand setting, waiting for that old hand to hatch. With my 
one-eyed mule and my good old Jersey cow. Okay, next will be number 66, judges, Ross Jurabeck, number 66, Ross. When first I parted away from you In sorrow, grief, and in sadness too You gave to me a parting hand and wish me safe in old Cumberland land. I took the steering in my hand. And I steered through ice and I steered through sand. I took the steering in my hand. And we steered our way to the Cumberland land. But when we got here, it was ice and snow. And the rains they poured and the winds did blow, which caused us all for to weep and cry. Saying here with cold we all must die. But thank the Lord, good help we found. We all got here both safe and sound. And it's here in peace that we hope to be. With the Indian tribes in old Tennessee. Now I seen five hundred human graves, all walled in with three mason signs, which it caused me to think in former days. Some human race had passed this place. Now I've no reason to lie to you. Preaching is scarce saying religion too. We've a happy land with a fertile soil. Here we've honey and milk, here we've corn and oil. Okay, thank you. This will be our last folk singer. We're sorry we have to cut this off, but uh, time won't permit to go any farther. So this will be number 80, judges. Wayne Seymour, then we will get into our fiddle and banjo competition. So all you folks with the fiddles and banjos, gather around behind the bandstand and be ready. Number 80, judges, Wayne Seymour. Number 80, Wayne. Okay, here we go. This is called The Devil and the Farmer's Wife. Farmer was a plowing his field one day. The devil come up and to him he did say, Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. The devil come up and to him he did say, One of your family I must take away. Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. He said, Please don't take my oldest son. There's work on the farm that's got to be done. Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. Not your son or your daughter, I crave you mean old wife, it's her I must have. Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. Well, the devil, he put her up on his back, and down the road he went clickety-clack. Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. Well, the devil was a-going on down the road, he said, whew, old woman, you a mighty big load. Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. Well, he took her on down to the gates of hell. He said, poke up the fire, let's roast her well. Right for la diddy fi day, diddy fi diddy fi day. There was five little devils a playing at ball. She picked 
picked up one and threw him over the wall. Right from la dee 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 Flower little devils and dragging their chains. She picked up one and smacked out his brains. Right from la dee 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 Three little devils are lying in bed. She picked up a butter turn, smacked him on the head. Right from la dee 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 Devils are playing at ball. Said, take her back, Daddy, she's a killing us all. Right for la dee dee pie day dee dee pie dee dee pie day Well, the devil, he put her up on his back. He was seven years going, but one coming back. Right for la dee dee pie day dee dee pie dee dee pie day Well, the farmer was a standing all at his shack, and he saw old Satan come a toting her back. Right for la dee dee pie day dee dee pie dee dee pie day he said, I've been the devil most all of my life. But I never knew hell till I met your wife. Right for la dee dee pie day dee dee pie dee dee pie day It shows that the women are worse than the men. Because they go down yonder, get thrown out again. Right for la dee dee pie day dee dee pie dee dee pie day Okay, coming up next, more of the regular bluegrass banjo category. This is contestant number 32. Number 32, bluegrass banjo, Mark Templeton, number 32. This is from old buddy Cal Creed out there in the back. Whoa, you whoa. turn now to the bluegrass banjo and contestant in bluegrass banjo coming up next for us is contestant number 20 number 20 this is rick purdue number 20.
remind all of our folks out there that we're being broadcast live right now on AM 740 WPAQ here in Mount Airy. They're the ones providing the sound system. Tonight, uh, the convention will air live on uh, WPAQ sister station, WBRF, out of Galax. They'll handle the uh, broadcast for the rest of the night up until the close uh, early this morning. So we'd like to welcome all of our radio audience to uh, the Fiddler's Convention. I invite you to come on down. The weather is pretty nice with the overcast skies that we have here. It's made the temperature real nice. Let's uh, move on to uh, bluegrass fiddle category. And our next contestant in that category will be number 17. This is Ricky Martin, number 17, bluegrass fiddle. Next is Old Time Banjo. This is contestant number 71, Carly Marion, number 71, Old Time Banjo competition. Next in old time banjo category is contestant number 49. This is Rhonda Faust, number 49, old time banjo.
Next, we'll have a contestant in the old time fiddle youth category, and that contestant is number seven. This is Leanne Erbson. Number seven, Leanne Erbson, old time fiddle youth category. Sorry about that. Um, I'm going to play Star of the County Down. We'll turn back to the old time banjo competition. This will be contestant number three. Contestant three, Brian Fane. Old time banjo, Brian Fane number three. <laughs> Another old time fiddle contestant is next, and we have contestant number 62, old time fiddle. This is Richard Bowman, number 62, old time fiddle competition. All right, a little bit of walking in my sleep.
Up next in Old Time Banjo, this will be contestant 64. This is Marsha Bowman, number 64, Old Time Banjo. next an old time fiddle this will be contestant number 148 this is polo bouguer number 148 old time fiddle Next more old time banjo, and this will be contestant number 106, and judges, this should be, instead of Jay Patton, this should be Joy Patton, number 106, old time banjo, Joy Patton. Try a little bit of Mississippi Sawyer.
Okay, we'll turn to bluegrass banjo competition once again. Here's contestant number four in bluegrass banjo. Contestant four, Mike Allen, bluegrass banjo. Next, our Next will be in Lou. bluegrass fiddle competitions. Contestant number 14. Contestant 14, this is Jimmy Van Cleve, number 14, bluegrass fiddle.
Thank you. Back to more of the uh, mandolin competition judges. This will be contestant number 33. This is Ashley Frank, number 33. Judges, did you get that all right as far as the, got it? Okay, good, all right. Continue right along with the uh, dulcimer competition. Our next contestant in the dulcimer competition is contestant number seven. This is Phyllis Gaskins, number seven dulcimer. Mandolin number 24 is next. Contestant 24, Kelly Purdue, number 24 on the mandolin.
We'll go back to Old Time Banjo once again for another contestant. This is number 79, William Bacon. Number 79, Old Time Banjo. Okay, we'll go to bass once again for another contestant. This is number 35 in the bass category, Jerry Streinberg, number 35. Old Time Banjo is next, judges. Contestant number 43, Old Time Banjo. This is Edwin Lacey, number 43.
Okay, we'll go back to the Alder Harp competition judges. Next contestant in Alder Harp is number 13. A couple of facts we're proud of about this next contestant. He's 84 years old, number one. And number two, he's been to this Fiddler's Convention for all of its 25 years. Let's uh, bring on Richard Hall, number 13, Alder Harp. A little weeping willow. is Old Time Fiddle once again, judges, number 73. <laughs> number 73, Old Time Fiddle. Here's Brian Grimm, number 73. Next in Old Time Banjo, judges number 90. This is Bob Graff, number 90, Old Time Banjo.
have next the mandolin category, mandolin youth category. No, can't hear it. Main PA is down. Can't hear it at all. Okay. We're going to suspend things for just a moment, folks, because we've got a storm coming up, it looks like, or leaving us, or one coming up. We've got some lightning around here and so forth. It's sort of dangerous to run this equipment during a thunderstorm. So we're going to shut things down for just a few moments to let this pass. Be right back with you, so stand by. Um, as far as competition goes, it's now over. They're going to use last night's to go on and judge. Now the musicians are lining up on the stage and getting their money back, which uh, they do after they play on the second night. Uh, so they're going ahead, and there's a steady line of uh, musicians uh, walking across the stage right now. And our sound man's already starting to, uh, and, and the rest of us, already starting to, uh, to uh, pack up. I've never known this to happen before, but it was quite a storm, and uh, it just paralyzed us, really, to, uh, to the point where we could not continue. So, again, the Mount Airy Fiddlers Convention for 1996 is over, except for the awards ceremony, which will still take place. And we'll plan on broadcasting that, whether it will be on WPAQ or on WBRF.